This YouTuber is pretending to be homeless to hide her disturbing past. So my name is Ariana, and I am homeless. This is my home. This is where I live, that's where I sleep. She claims she has no family, no friends, and no place to go. That's why she's been living in her car for the past seven months. When she posted her story on YouTube, many people felt sorry for her. They sent her positive messages, offered her money, and told her to keep posting on YouTube. But that is when people started to get a little suspicious of her. Because in her videos, she didn't really live like a homeless person. She was seen buying expensive food, staying in luxury hotels, and she even tried to buy a fancy car. At this point, people thought she was just a scammer, but when they looked into her past, they found something way more disturbing. Ariana's story starts with her escaping from her abusive ex-boyfriend. She claims her relationship got so bad that she feared for her safety. The reason I moved out here was because I had to leave the relationship that I was in. I had to leave for my safety. That's why she took her car and drove to California. And after seven months of living in her car, she decided to tell her story on YouTube. And even though many people believed her, others thought she was hiding something. Because instead of living like the homeless, she was spending like the rich. Buying expensive coffee daily, paying for a gym membership, and she even tried to buy a luxury van. I told the guy that I wanted to look at a van. They didn't really have any, they had two and they were used. This made her followers so suspicious that they became detectives. And this is what they found. Ariana's real name is Ronnie Ann Spur, and even though she looks like a pretty innocent girl, she has quite a criminal record. This is one of her many mugshots, because she has been arrested on multiple occasions. One time for stealing from Walmart, another time for driving without a license, and the list goes on. But this is nothing compared to what the internet detectives found out about her. Turns out Ronnie has a child, but she can only visit him four hours per week under supervision because she has a long history of mental instability and had attempted to take her own life on several occasions. But the real reason why she lost custody of her child is far more disturbing. According to her dad, Ronnie is not a responsible mother because she used to leave her child unattended for days. She moved in with a man with a criminal record like hers, and she even got accused of child abuse. One day, Ronnie took her child to the hospital claiming he had an allergic reaction, but the doctors found out he had his skull fractured instead. When they asked Ronnie for an explanation, she couldn't give a credible response response and went as far as saying that the kid did that to himself. After a long investigation, the court gave child custody to the father because they believed Ronnie had been abusing her child. Many people believe Ronnie is not even homeless. They say she is a girl who abandoned her child to live a hippie life in California. And now she's getting donations and lots of money from YouTube. But what do you think? Should we believe her 